Hollywood is no stranger to scandal, and some of the juiciest stories involve secret romances between co-stars. While actors are often praised for their performances, what happens behind the scenes can be just as dramatic. In this video, we'll explore the affairs that started on set and became the talk of the industry, leaving lasting impacts both on and off the screen. Andy Griffith and Anita Corso Andy Griffith, the star of the iconic 1960s TV show The Andy Griffith Show, was romantically involved with his co-star Anita Corso, who played Helen Crump, his on-screen love interest. However, their relationship extended beyond the set. Even though Griffith was married to his first wife, Barbara, Griffith was so enamored with Corso that he proposed to her multiple times. Despite efforts to keep their relationship under wraps, the entire cast eventually caught wind of the affair. In fact, the crew once played a prank on them by having a crew member pose as a waiter and deliver dinner to the couple's hotel room, confirming their romance. Though their affair eventually fizzled out, Griffith and Corso remained close friends for many years. Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy's affair began during the filming of Woman of the Year in 1941. Over the years, the duo starred in nine more films together, concluding with Guess Who's Coming to Dinner in 1967, the same year Tracy passed away. Their relationship lasted an impressive 26 years, even though Tracy never divorced his wife, Louise, citing his Catholic beliefs as the reason. Hepburn once reached out to Louise, offering to help with her children and suggesting they try to be friends. However, Louise's response was icy. She claimed Hepburn was just a rumor and refused to acknowledge the long-term affair. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall first met on the set of To Have and Have Not in 1944. Although Bacall didn't initially find Bogart attractive, they soon formed a strong bond. Their on-screen chemistry was so undeniable that the director adjusted the script to have their characters end up together. At the time, Bogart was still married to his third wife, Mayo Maythot, but their marriage was already in trouble. Bogart and Bacall carried on their affair in secret, often meeting discreetly in cars or on studio lots during breaks. Eventually, Bogart divorced Methot and married Bacall, though their marriage was not without its own issues. Bogart was unfaithful, having an affair with his secretary, Verita Bouvier Thompson, who later described herself as Bacall's worst nightmare. Bacall, who gave up her career to raise their two children, said she had no regrets about her devotion to Bogart, even though their marriage only lasted 11 years before Bogart's death. Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw met while filming The Getaway in 1972. The intense chemistry between them was undeniable, and McGraw left her husband, Robert Evans, for McQueen. McGraw described their relationship as chemical, acknowledging both the attraction and danger that came with it. The two married in 1973, but McQueen soon proved to be a jealous and controlling husband, even forcing McGraw to give up her career. Despite their passionate love, McQueen was unfaithful throughout their marriage, leading to their divorce in 1978. McQueen passed away three years later, and McGraw has since expressed regret that they never had the chance to reconcile before his death. Hey, Golden Throwback fans, ready to take a trip down memory lane? Perfect Fifth has you covered with graphic tees that celebrate the music you love. Check out this cassette era design, a tribute to those mixtape days, or vibe with Melting Vinyl Sunset, bringing back the golden age of records. And for the Patriots, Stars, Stripes, and Strings combines music and Americana in a style all your own. Get it for yourself or as the perfect gift for the music lover in your life. And right now, get 30% off your order with code THROWBACK30 at checkout. Click the link in the description to shop now. Perfect fifth, wear the rhythm, relive the moments. John Malkovich and Michelle Pfeiffer During the filming of Dangerous Liaisons in 1988, John Malkovich had an affair with Michelle Pfeiffer, even though he was married at the time. According to the film's director, 
Malkovich's marriage was already in trouble before the affair started, but the fling with Pfeiffer was the final blow. Their relationship was short-lived, and both actors eventually went on to marry other people. Malkovich later reflected on the affair, claiming he barely remembered it. Not because Pfeiffer wasn't memorable, but because he found it hard to believe someone like her would be interested in him in the first place. Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford brought their iconic characters, Princess Leia and Han Solo, to life in Star Wars, but their chemistry wasn't limited to the screen. Rumors of an off-screen romance followed them for decades, but it wasn't until Fisher's memoir, The Princess Diarist, was published in 2016 that the affair was confirmed. According to Fisher, the affair lasted for three months during the filming of the first Star Wars movie. At the time, Ford was 33, married, and had two children, while Fisher was just 19. Despite her infatuation with Ford, their relationship remained distant, and Ford has rarely spoken about the affair, even after Fisher's death. Fisher never truly moved on, and held on to the hope that they would rekindle their romance someday. Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie Billy Bob Thornton was dating Laura Dern in the late 1990s when he started a secret affair with Angelina Jolie during the filming of Pushington in 1999. Jolie, who was 19 years younger than Thornton, quickly fell for him, and their relationship became public in 2000 when they married in Las Vegas. However, the marriage came as a shock to Dern who hadn't even been informed of their breakup. Thornton and Jolie's relationship didn't last long either, and they divorced in 2003. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton's fiery affair began in 1963 on the set of Cleopatra. At the time, Taylor was married to Eddie Fisher, while Burton was still with his wife, Sybil Williams. Their on-screen romance quickly became real, with their off-script kisses lasting far longer than necessary. Paparazzi and tabloids were all over the affair, turning it into a major scandal. Even the Vatican condemned their relationship, labeling it erotic vagrancy. Despite Burton's past affairs, Sybil believed her husband would return to her, but he didn't. Burton and Taylor divorced their respective spouses and married in 1964. Their passionate but tumultuous relationship led to two divorces, but Taylor always maintained that Burton was her true love. Ted Danson and Whoopi Goldberg Ted Danson and Whoopi Goldberg's chemistry in the 1992 film Made in America led to a real-life romance, despite Danson being married to his second wife, Casey Coates. Their affair caused Danson's marriage to fall apart leading to a costly divorce in 1993. However, Danson and Goldberg's relationship didn't last long, ending after just 18 months. Danson later met Mary Steenburgen, whom he married and has been with ever since, while Goldberg has embraced single life, openly stating that she prefers it that way. Now it's over to you. What do you think causes so many actors to have affairs with their co-stars? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.